negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I got is working Never stop searching, never quench the thirst Hey guys, welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name is Amy and I'm so glad to have you. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm doing a pick a card all about what your coworkers think of you. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's a general session. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer personal and private readings and sessions. All that information will be down in my description box below. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. So let's get into the groups here. We have three groups. We have the ant spirit. We have the hummingbird spirit. We have the spider spirit. Okay, so I will insert a little video with some music so you can kind of chill and see which one or which ones you're drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one, there's probably a message in more than one stack for you. And with that said, I'll see you beautiful magical creatures on the other side. Bye guys. I start retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I got is working Never stop searching, never quench the Thirsty. I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic, you can't stop it It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic I'm Go. to last with the webs I'm weaving I could change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat em. Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat em. If you take off the gas, you can see all the healing in the past, move on from the grave and put your foot on the gas. No, never stop competing. Yeah. I've been doing this, I'm on it. I just wanna be iconic. Sipping on a gin and tonic, got me going off when I'm on this topic. Yeah. If I ever play, I want it. You know that I'm always honest. Stay away from those who are toxic. Keep them out your face, no way you don't want it. Yeah. Don't try to drain my energy. The enemy is everything. It's mentally unhealthily spreading like a rare disease, but I won't let it get to me. I don't need your thing. that selected this group of cards or you were drawn to this card here the ant spirit time to collaborate what do your co-workers really think about you you're a good co-worker like you work well with people okay let's kind of get into let's do the channel messages first okay we have Capricorn maybe you're a Capricorn or you work with a Capricorn Let's see, we have, and I also get that you're hardworking. This little ant, ant spirit, you're a hard worker. You put in the effort, you show up, and you work really well with others. And, you know, that is an incredible strength. Not everybody works well, you know, with others, okay? So we have Capricorn. We have Frenemy. Okay, there may be a Capricorn around you that's like a Frenemy to you. Um, yeah. We have underestimated. Maybe people think you're the friend of me. We have shy. You're a little shy. We have raise. Somebody thinks you deserve a raise. And there are people who think you are very focused on your career. And maybe you are. Most Capricorns are. Maybe you're a Capricorn or you just have a Capricorn in your chart or you have a very strong work ethic. So, okay, <clears throat> let's get some more of uh, cards here. We have Alpha Centaurus, Foresight Planning Strategy. You know, I feel right away that you're very organized. 
I'm picking up on you're very organized, your um, cubby, your office. Uh, maybe that's something you do at work. Maybe you're good at keeping things together, keeping projects together, keeping it organized, having a strategy for solving problems. I think people really love that. You may have Virgo or you may be a Virgo. You're really good at analyzing things. Maybe that's part of what you do for your work as well. We have the flower of life, inspiration, awe, and dreams. And this is interesting what I'm feeling with this card because I feel like there's an element of you that's like, aw. <laughs> Totally different from what you would think I would get from the card like this, but I feel like people just really, I think you're very sweet. I think you're shy and you're very sweet, but I do think some people think that you're like a frenemy, like they can't trust you really, or um, you're so sweet, maybe it's, it's not real, maybe you're a little fake. Let's keep going here. Um, movement, long distance, travel, excitement. I'm not going to try to pronounce that right now. <laughs> So, and I'm feeling like you are very excited about your work. You have a good attitude about your work. You always show up. You always do the hard work. You always put in the time. I'm getting that a lot. Like you're very devoted to your work and people like that. And they can count on you to do some of the busy work that other people kind of don't do. You may be in a work situation where you're like the workhorse, so to speak. And everybody lets you do all the, the detailed work. Okay. And that's not exactly a good thing to do to somebody, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Um, we have nature's wisdom. I feel like you're very connected to nature. I think you have a very healing spirit about you. You may actually work in the healthcare industry in some way. You know, the healthcare industry runs different gamuts, right? We can go from, you know, direct hands-on care to the people who handle accounting as well. So keep that in mind. We have creative spark. I think you're very creative. I think you're innovative when it comes to work. I think people can count on you to make good decisions about your projects and things like that. You may handle customers as well. Um, but I feel like, I feel this energy of you dig deep. You may do something like forensic accounting or you may do some kind of forensic paperwork kind of work. Like you look for errors. You look for, you may be a teacher or a professor or something, always looking for errors, trying to help people perfect and um, for some people this involves like grant writing and things like that so take what resonates here we have evolution i think when it comes to handling change in the workplace you're good with that you're you're good with change you're good with change in policies you're good with change in employees you just handle it really well because you're this little ant, ant spirit here and you just keep it going you just keep moving and if you have a new person to work with you adapt very well. In fact, I think you look forward to having new energy. Maybe that's something that happens quite often in your field, in your work. Maybe there's rapid, either people, you know, they walk away from the job often, or there's just a need within your kind of business where you'll deal with different people all the time and working with them. And you like the new energy. You like meeting new people. You're good with people. Even though you're shy, some people feel you're shy. I don't necessarily feel you're shy as much as you're somewhat of an introvert but at work you're a bit of an extrovert if you get my meaning you're an extra you you become an extrovert in things that you're good at you become an extrovert when it's necessary for your career okay we have intimacy here oh <laughs> this raise can mean more than one thing okay <laughs> I think there's somebody around you who finds you really attractive. For some people, yeah. when you work at a place for a long period of time, you develop uh, friendships with people who turn into like work spouses where they do nice things for you. You do nice things for them. You can kind of, um, you can kind of decompress with them and it's okay. They're not going to tell anybody and that kind of thing. There may be people in your office gossiping about, they think that you have a very close friend, um, and they may think that there's something going on there as well. I feel like people like to talk about you because I feel like you, you don't really participate in gossip. You don't really go to lunch with a lot of people. That's why people think you're shy. They also underestimate you. I feel like a lot of people think you're a good worker with this ant spirit, but they don't realize what a leader you really are. Uh, being a leader many times involves learning how to be a good ant learning how to be good at your job, working hard. And you can only get that by stepping through the rungs 
and getting the experience you need. I think you're the kind of person who volunteers to learn new skills, go back to school, do whatever you need to do to get to the next level. And for some of you, you'll, you even will do it without like asking for a raise. You'll just, you'll just learn that thing or do that thing for the experience to put that in your bag because you've realized that the more you learn, you can take that anywhere with you. Like the more you learn at your job, the more you gain at your job. If you want to leave your job, you can take that experience with you. Okay. You can turn that experience into money. I feel like other people, you may work in government. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter what level, but, and you may feel like, you know, I'll take on more responsibility. I'll do the job of more people because I want the experience. And this is experience that I couldn't pay to go to college to get. So I'm going to take that on. And what happens is, is eventually you get to use that stuff that you've learned, that you gained and put in your little knapsack. And you're going to get to take it and move forward in your career and get a raise, maybe a new job, those kind of things. Uh, intuition. I think you have a very strong intuition about people. I think that's why you're so good at making changes is because you know when to trust somebody and you know when to keep an eye out. But I think you have such a positive attitude that this frenemy card here, I think this is just someone who really doesn't have a lot going on. Okay. Um, but I do think some people think some of you guys may be so sweet, but they think it's fake and they don't trust you. Um, and then we have abundance here. Yeah, moving on towards your abundance, taking all your experience from your job and moving forward. And, you know, this is going to cause some jealousy sometimes in your coworkers. That's where the frenemy situation comes in. I think you are good at your job. I think you're a good employee. And I think if you want to have your own business, you can absolutely do it. But I also feel like those of you who want your own business, I feel like you're gaining experience by what you're doing. And one day you're going to apply that to something else that's your own. So that's beautiful. That's really lovely energy here. Let me move that. There you go. Okay, let's get the tarot here. <clears throat> we have the three of pentacles. Collaboration again. We have collaboration. Working together. Yeah, I feel like um, this is so interesting. I feel like you really, with this card, with the, with the butterfly spirits, the fae spirits, I feel like you really do have a powerful intuition and you should listen to it more. And I think you've had situations where you've made the decisions that are opposite to your intuition and you have found that that decision made out of fear was a wrong one. Okay, life is trying to tell you in career, in the element of career and stuff like that, you need to listen. You need to listen to your intuition more. I think people really think you're a hard worker. I, I think that rings true. No matter whether people think they can trust you or not, they know you're a hard worker. And you have coworkers who think that, hey, if I don't do it, I know they will do it for me. I know they'll help. I know they'll pitch in because they know I, I'm, you know, I don't have as much time to devote to it, et cetera, et cetera. And the truth is, is that people sometimes put their work off on you and you do it and you smile about it. You're happy about it. You're bringing cookies the next day and not bitter about it. And for some people that feels like you're being fake with the frenemy card here. Okay. All right. Let's see, we have the Queen of Wands. Ooh, I love this card. This is the sexiest card in the deck. So I think you're probably very attractive. And I, what I think is this little ant is so busy. And this little ant thinks they're like every other ant in the ant pile. But the truth is, is that you stand out, okay? You stand out and... There's something about like your aura or the way you dress that really attracts people. There are people around you who think you're very sexy and they would really like to hit it. Now, some of them would like to date you and some of them can't date you. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think there's just a lot of, of this in your workplace, this vibe, okay? And I feel like people like to talk about the possibility that you're you know, with other people. Now that won't resonate for everybody, but with ever you're with somebody at work, like you're hitting it with somebody at work. They talk about it and it's just because you're the full package. Like you're very attractive. You're very smart. You're very focused and you're willing to work really hard. And 
that's really rare nowadays. We don't see a lot of people who are like this, who have such a strong work ethic. I think you're the kind of person who would go in early so you could strategize about the day or about the problem or about the project or whatever this is. I think if you get called to come in because somebody doesn't show up, you're there. And if you don't go and if you don't go in early, if you don't cover for people, you actually feel bad for living your life. And you don't need to live your life that way, okay? We have temperance patient you're very very patient and listen every time i get the temperance card i'm like ah oh, <laughs> patience is required but i think for you you are the source of patience and i think people know that i think people know that they can count on you for support and i don't think you are the kind of person if you're a boss you don't analyze someone to death if someone's made a mistake they made the mistake and we're going to fix it kind of thing and we just keep it moving you're not afraid to approach problems at work from new perspectives you're willing to stand back a little bit take a moment you know go slow and steady at a problem and be patient with it i think you are someone who can wait things out i think when people hurt your feelings at work because i really feel like you get your feelings hurt more than you get angry and I feel like you've learned to not be reactionary. You're the kind of person who maybe uh, when you first got jobs or in your career or however this resonates for you, you may have been somebody who goes home crying because you got your feelings hurt. And you've grown from that. And now you're not as vulnerable to that kind of energy. But when people talk about you and say things like they don't believe you're being authentic, that hurts because you really are. What they see is what they get with you, and it's hard to believe. So a lot of people will stand back from you a little bit. And that's why sometimes you get a cold reaction from people, because they're not sure if this is real. Because you seem like you're too good to be true, you know, and you're not perfect. We all have flaws, right? Um, and I think you are learning to own yours. We have the King of Pentacles. Okay, this is success and leadership at work, okay? And I think a lot of people know you're going to be successful, Okay, you may already be very successful and it's because of your work ethic. It's because you also know that things take time and you have to stay determined and your coworkers know that about you. Okay, they know that um, you will stay in the game as long as possible. They can count on you. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. You guys, <laughs> this is building major foundations. I think people think you're going to be very prosperous and um, there's tight family connections here. So you may be a big family person and your friends may be family you're very loyal that's what i'm getting a lot of leo energy here very loyal and all of this stuff works together to create this energy of abundance about you and i think people can feel it i think you're very giving with your energy you can see the hand giving you know is it money giving money i think you're the kind of person who brings donuts to work on friday i think you're the kind of person who loves a potluck because you can bring your best recipes i think you like to cook i think you have a lot of domestic bliss going on you like being home i think if you're in a relationship you're very happy in your relationship if you're single i think you're very happy being single i think people get a, such a happy vibe from you that it really helps them it really helps them get through their day and I think it's because you, even if you don't, aren't crazy about your job, you still understand that it's part of your journey. And this is how you have to spend every day. So because of that, you want to be happy there. So people really like being around you. And sometimes they don't trust you. And sometimes they think they're shy. You're shy because you won't go out to eat with them or whatever. But overall, people really like you. And I feel like your boss thinks you're underestimated. I think if your boss could give you a raise right now, they would. They really appreciate you. And this is coming through very strong. They appreciate you so much because for some of you guys, you're ahead on the numbers. Like where you normally would be this time in the year, they're ahead of it. And they know how hard you work to get there to get a cushion because some of you guys work in industries that are having trouble right now, either understaffed or not enough money coming in or, or whatnot. So they really love how strategic you are, how hardworking you are. And your coworkers, you know, they overall, they love how hard you work and they appreciate you, okay? They really and truly do. But some of them just think you're too good to be true, all right? So what do you have to do to rectify that? Well, if you wanna rectify it, then, um, you know, just keep, keep being you. And through experiences with you, they'll learn that this is really who you are. They have to see you enough and understand that you're not responding in a fake way. You're responding in a very real way, okay? So let's get some numbers of alignment and letters and things. 
All right. We have five, five, four, four, and six and one. Okay, so fours and five. So you're good with change, and I think that's good because I do think there's change coming for you. I feel like when you see 55 or 44, you need to pay attention to what's going on. I also think that you need to be aware that there are people talking about you. There are people who, you know, they strain their ears to listen to your, your telephone calls. They really want to get dirt on you, okay? So with that said, I think there may be some changes that you need to make at work um, because you don't want this frenemy feeling from people to get out of hand. So it might be time for you to be um, a little bit more reserved with your energy with people that you feel intuitively don't connect with you you know you may already be doing that but for some of you that is advice coming through from your um your spirit guide so let's get some initials okay let's read off all the letters here we have e u b a j l s h v T O E I P V S Q W G A Y F. Okay, these could be the initials of where you work. It could be your initials. It could be a co worker's initials. Just take what resonates here. Okay, you got quite a few charms. We have two stars here starfish and a star. We have a dolphin, another, well, we have a, a moth, I do believe. We have a heart. I haven't seen that one in a while. We have a tree, a music note, a key, an owl, um, a fairy, not a fairy. Why am I saying fairy? I feel fey energy around you. You may be someone who um, is aligned with fey energy. Just take what resonates there. We have a tree. We have money. I feel like you are manifesting more money by putting in this hard work, by staying determined, by staying positive, by doing everything you need to do to help your coworkers. You're manifesting like a raise, more money, a new position, your own business, however this resonates for you. And I feel like you work so well with people that at times they're jealous because you just seem to have it all. Again, we're saying, you know, it just seems that you have everything. You're the full package here. But, you know, no one's perfect. So, and we have the star here. I think you're magnetic and you're going to be seen. You are being seen by the higher ups. And I feel like your coworkers who may have some issues with you being fake or whatnot, I feel like they're going to see you, the true blue you, okay? And you're going to have some really solid relationships. And um, there's two people here, I'm feeling up to two people who are going to really help you anchor more deeply into the success in your career. Uh, this may be a supervisor or a boss who sees you and they see how wise you are. And for some of you, you're young. You're so young to be and wise. I think a lot of this has been gained from your empathetic ability and your intuitive ability. And we have the music notes here and a key. I feel like for you, working with frequency music is going to be really profound, especially the ones where you clear your energy a lot. Clear your energy, clear your clutter. In your in your life if you have any i feel like you guys probably don't have a lot of physical clutter but you might have a lot of mental clutter because i feel like you have a very strong mercury in your natal chart and i feel like you guys are always thinking of the next step to go the next level what to do next what are you going to be doing tomorrow it's like you lay in bed and you're thinking about all the things you're going to do tomorrow and you're not thinking about it from a place of grief or worry but more like strategy and excitement to do it and that's a great way to approach your day but you really need to give yourself some more downtime okay it'll really pay off at work if you have more fun and you play more and i know you're probably saying amy but i work all the time well you know what maybe take one of those hours that you work extra and spend that hour on yourself devote to yourself go do some self-care go get a pizza whatever however fun is for you you know get a pizza and a movie and watch it or or whatever but take care of yourself because you are going places and I know you're working really hard right now for that and just stay in the game and don't let these people who think you're fake change the way you are because you are bright and you're shining okay and this is where you decide to believe in yourself irregardless of what other people think because you're always going to have people who don't like you or hate on you that's part of life you're always going to have co-workers who don't have your best interests at heart now i don't really think you have that going on 
I don't think people hate you. I think they just doubt your authenticity. So, okay, group one, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a most beautiful day and I'll see you beautiful magical creatures next time. Subscribe. Bye guys. Hey, group two, all of you that selected the hummingbird spirit, be here now. This is going to be your reading all about what your co-workers really think of you. So let's get into it. So this beautiful hummingbird spirit, be here now. I feel like you're very busy. You're a very busy person. Um, and I think people think that about you. Like you always have something going on. Maybe it's after work or something like that. Maybe your life is just really busy. So let's get into these cards, shall we? I'm going to put this one right here. Let's put it right here where you can see it, right? Okay, we have Tara, we have channel messages. Let's get into the Oracle cards first. We have Soul Journey. Well, I feel like you're going places. People know you're going places. We have Energy Balance. That's beautiful energy. I feel like you're very connected. And what I'm getting with this card is more how, how lined up everything is. I think you're in alignment to be going places, okay? And I think people around you who work with you know that no matter how things kind of pan out for you, that you're going somewhere, definitely. We have rest, okay? I think you take good care of yourself and it shows. We have dedication. I think you're very dedicated to your job. And I think people know they can count on you for stability. Also, I think you bring good energy to your workplace, okay? We have guardian, familiar. I feel like you're very protective of your energy. And you're very careful how close you get to your coworkers. Uh, I think you only let them get so close to you. You don't like bringing it home. That's what I'm hearing. Responsibility. I think you probably handle responsibility very well. I feel like you probably have a lot of responsibility. And um, there's an element about you that's playful I'm getting from all these cards, especially from the hummingbird spirit. You may be an air sign, but you also are serious. And I think when you get into serious mode, like the energy around you shifts. We have Capricorn I use and the number is 22. And we have the Keeper of Whispers, the Mad Prophet, Curiosity, Madness, Forbidden Knowledge. We have Obsession. And we have Alone in the World. Okay, let's go ahead and get these messages here. We have Manipulative. I do think there are people who think you're manipulative, for sure. They just do. Um, and it has to do with your personality. I think you joke around a lot. I think when you are playful, you're very playful. And um, sometimes people mistake it. And um, I think you know how to kind of get what you want. That might be actually part of your job is getting, getting people to do something. Like manipulating people a little bit. And you self something or maybe you're, you're in law or something like that. And you need the power of persuasion. You have a really good power of persuasion. I think the problem is, is that some people think you use that in the office, like office politics here. We have uh, your sense of humor. Yeah, you're very funny. <laughs> people think you're funny. Um, you may be a fire sign here. You may be a Leo. Um, you may like the attention. You may be really good at handling attention. That might be part of your job. Uh, maybe you have a lot of single family drama that affects your work. And, uh, you know, that bothers some people, okay? And you know what? You're allowed to be human and have a life. And sometimes not everything goes as smoothly for other people as it does for you. You know, we all don't, I'm feeling this energy of like, listen, <laughs> just because your life has been a bed of roses, mine hasn't. So, you know, I have to deal with this stuff, okay? How beautiful you are. I think you are very handsome, attractive, beautiful. I think if you're a feminine energy, I think they look at you sometimes out of the corner of their eye in an inappropriate way. Magnetic. Yeah. Your energy is very magnetic. That's why you can use a power of persuasion the way you do. It's like you, you, when you really put your heart into something, you don't have a problem getting your way. Okay. This forbidden knowledge here, keeper of secrets. I feel like uh, for many of you, for some of you guys have dirt on your coworkers, okay? But you've never told anybody. Maybe you have, uh, maybe you work in HR or you just, 
know a lot of the problems in the office. That's where the office politics comment comes in. And I feel like you're more powerful than what people think you are because you know things that maybe they would be really uncomfortable with you knowing. Um, if you're a boss or supervisor, you absolutely know things about people, but you keep your mouth shut. So even though people might think you're manipulative and hot, they also think you're trustworthy and very responsible. So, and you could be hot and responsible. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying these are the things they think. Okay, uh, let's get into the tarot here. We have Ten of Swords. Wow. <laughs> um, I think there is someone in your work that like hates you, is a hater. Okay, I'm just going to be really honest. Um, I think they don't like you. They don't like how you make, they take your humor as smart aleck comments. Um, they absolutely think you're manipulative. They think you're a liar. Uh, I think sometimes when you tell people that you have family drama that you have to take care of at home or a sick kid or something like that, they think you're lying and just taking the day off. And um, they may judge you for taking those days or judge you for taking personal time, that kind of thing. Very judgy energy here. And, you know, it really is jealousy. There are people who are jealous because I think you put yourself together really well. And, um, and I think you're so guarded about your energy that people, people feel like you're very standoffish. Okay. And some people take it as you being a snob as well. And I feel like you may be the person that handles people when they quit. Like you may be the one that gives an exit interview or you may be the one that does the checks or maybe you're a boss who have had people quit on you. And so this is part of the reason why you stay kind of back from people is because you, you don't trust that they're going to stay or stick around. And you're very protective about your personal life. You're very protective of your family. So I don't think you're the kind of person who mixes work and personal life very well. I don't necessarily think that I feel like you have gone out with your coworkers yeah. when you go to a conference or something like that, or maybe occasionally on a Friday night, you'll go out with them or whatnot. But really it's very, it's only on occasion because you know that you need to form those relationships with them, but you also do not want them in your personal life. And I'm telling you, there are people at work who are insulted by this. Uh, and that's probably where this hater energy is coming from. Um, and, you know, you, you really need to be careful with that. Okay, we have Hierophant. I feel like you have leadership. You're a leader or you're, you're a boss or something like that. You have a position of power or you will because this energy is all around you. You're going places. People know you're going places. Your coworkers think you're going places, okay? For some of them, they think you're going to quit or they would really like for you to quit. Okay, we have the Three of Swords. Heartbreaker. Okay, some of you guys have had some interesting um, relationships in past jobs or even this job and because of that you are very protective of your energy now you don't really hang out anymore uh, you may have had some bad gossip you may have had uh, out and out fight that had to be mediated um, some kind of inappropriate behavior this won't resonate for everybody and so people judge you now they judge you because of it but you need your job right and you're trying to get somewhere and I do think the higher-ups like you that's why you're still there if this applies they think that you know they can take you to the next level that that's their next whatever manager or their next level kind of thing so and I feel like um you know, this, whatever happened here, I feel like it really made you kind of recoil, recoil from people. Maybe you went out and something got out of hand and maybe something inappropriate and it was just too much of a gray area and you're just never going to do that again kind of thing. So take what resonates here. So let's, let me turn those around so you guys can see. Okay. We have the Knight of Wands. Okay. There is the the element of manipulative, charismatic, happy, jokester, fun, good times, uh, glowing, magnetic, Leo energy, fire, Sagittarius um, as well, Aries as well. I think you just shine a lot in your work and I think people are jealous. I also think people uh, want to know more about you. They're very curious and but you know, they know that you're not down with that kind of thing. We have obsession here and alone in the world. So you may feel kind of on your own at work. You may not feel like you have a lot of supporters, but I feel like your higher ups 
support you. The people who matter support you. The other people who judge you and um, are jealous and think you're manipulative, you know, it, in the end, that doesn't matter. What really matters is what your bosses think of you. And I don't think this is horrible. I think people really like being around you. I think they enjoy your company and they feel insulted because they don't get it anymore or they never did. For some of you guys, you never hung out with your coworkers ever. It's just kind of a rule for you. You just don't do it because it creates kind of intense situations with people and you don't want that in your life because you already have this. You already have some kind of home drama. If it's not single parent drama, then it's like home drama. It's problems with a spouse or um, a long-term partner or children or you just for some of you guys you have sick people at home you have like a sick kid or you have a sick parent or or um, a life partner that you're taking care of and you just you can't afford that gray area situation to happen because you need your job because you're taking care of people and um, you have a lot of responsibility and people count on you people who are more vulnerable count on you and you're really funny and this is part of what makes people want to hang out with you you look good you're funny you're magnetic and the kicker is is that you're deep. You can see to the heart of a situation. You can see through people. You can see through lies and betrayal and things like that. So I think for you, if there was an inappropriate thing that happened that made you not want to hang out with your coworkers anymore, I think for you, it stumped you because you didn't see it coming. And because of that, you may not trust your instincts as much with people you work with. And what that is doing, it's creating this, um, this chasm you know, this moat around you. And I think some people feel like they have to watch what they say around you. They have to be careful um, to not offend you. And I think some of your coworkers feel like they walk on eggshells around you. And the truth is you can, you can transform that energy if you want by just doing some nice things for your coworker. And we take back our energy and do not give like maybe we used to. People get really offended because they expect that from you. And maybe that's what's going on here. I feel like for some of you, that's exactly what's going on. I think you were very giving, maybe over giving because you were trying to let people in. Something happened, a fight or whatever. And you decided, no, I'm going to come to work. I'm going to do my job. I will go out with you guys on a rare occasion to keep the, you know, almost like to keep the facade of coworkers getting along kind of thing. But in reality, I want nothing to do with you guys. So, and it's, it's freaking your coworkers out a little bit, but let them yeah. think what they think because in the end, it just doesn't matter. Okay. Let's get some numbers of alignment for you. Okay. We have five, five, five and three and two. So four fives, you might look that angel number up Um, lots of change here, really powerful change here. We have the death card as well. So I feel like you may actually find another job someplace else. Maybe you're thinking about leaving this job and spirit just wants you to know if you're thinking that you should start looking because there's something out there that's going to be more fitting for you where your coworkers will be more supportive and maybe not take advantage of you so much. Some of you guys have been taken advantage of in some way by your coworkers or a boss. I think that was a one. Anyway, so let's get some initials here. Okay, so let's go through the letters here. We have L I M A Q A S Q B D I V T E Y. Okay, these could be letters of where you work, a new job. It could be letters of initials of coworkers or your initials. Just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. Now, the charm we have here is a tower. It's the Eiffel Tower, okay? And I feel like with the 55 here, I feel like you're definitely looking at a job change. Okay, I don't think you're going to stay at this job that we're talking about forever. I think many of you have already started looking for something more secure, more stable, um, and also where you can get along with your coworkers. It's almost like some of you guys are wanting a new start. You just want to start somewhere new where you can really shine Leo energy here in the star, where you can really show people your abilities. What you don't realize is your higher ups do see your abilities. They really like you despite what may have happened here or how other people might think about you. I think you're very talented and I think you definitely can get something else where you're happier. Um, but I think spirit wants you to do something creative. They want you to use your creative abilities more. You have a lot of it. There's a lot of wands energy here. Very passionate, very inspired. If you're inspired to 
to open a new door with this key, then do it. Absolutely do it because I think the universe is going to support you in that decision. Okay, group two, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a most beautiful day. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe and I'll see you beautiful magical creatures next time. Bye guys. Hey group three, all of you that selected the spider spirit, this is going to be your reading all about what your coworkers really think of you. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so spider spirit, make your dreams real. This is a beautiful card. It's one of my favorite cards. Um, spiders are about creation and things like that. Weaving time. All right, let's do the oracle cards first. And then we'll do the messages, the channel messages, and then we'll do the tarot. And then at the end, I will get numbers, charms, and uh, letters. So, okay, we have tomorrow for today. Okay, yeah, I think you have relationships and you do things at work to help you get ahead. More of us should be thinking that way, right? I think you form relationships with people at work um, based upon the interactions they can give you with your career or your job, which makes sense at work, right? Makes total sense. Okay. What do your coworkers really think about you? Air element, philosophy, discrimination, and empathy. Okay. Some people feel like you're a little bit snobby. I'm getting that right away. Like you have certain relationships. I don't want to say a click, but you have certain people that you literally click with and some people you don't. And it's not that you don't like them. They're just a personality conflict. And so you stay with people who, you know, you click with and there's nothing wrong with that. That's how, kind of how life is. But I think there are some people who feel left out. For some of you, there's an air sign. This could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, we have cauldron, containment. We have witch's hat, power. I think you're very powerful. Even if you don't have a powerful position, I think people feel that you're powerful. And I think you're a little bit intimidating to people. And it's just your manner. It's your personality. It's the same reason why you click with some people and some people you don't. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Some of us aren't for everyone. There right? are certain people we vibe with and certain people we don't. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I do think people judge you. You may work in a place where everyone's friendly and maybe you're the one who, you know, they don't think is very friendly and they talk about you. They gossip. This feels almost like, uh, like a Southern situation. Like you live in the South or um, your workplace is kind of set up like a Southern town where everyone knows everybody and there's a lot of gossip and a lot of talk and they talk about you. You probably already know this. I feel very strong Scorpio energy here and I also feel Sagittarius. I feel Libra and, um, let's see, Earth sign. I feel like Capricorn. So let's keep going here. We have Chalice, Fulfillment. I think you only have relationships with coworkers that are fulfilling. And if you can't have a fulfilling relationship with them, you don't bring them in to your inner circle. And that makes a lot of people feel like they're not good enough to be your friend. It's a really weird kind of vibe. It almost feels like high school, almost. Like people are still in high school mode. And I feel like you are just vibing with the people you do. That's it. It's not personal. Uh, we have, let's see, winter. The sacredness of pausing. I feel like some people think you're cold. You're very cold to them. They don't like it. They don't like how, like, I'm hearing like cold fish, literally. Like, they think you're cold. This may be somebody that they think that you think you're too good for them. Okay. They've never felt good really for anybody. You just happen to be the person in their life right now who's rejecting them. And I think they go through a lot of rejection just because of their manner. I think this person is very entitled. And I feel like when they hit on you, if this resonates, I feel like it was really inappropriate. And I think you shut them down right away. And their immediate recoil response was what a cold fish kind of thing. Okay, we have a uh, trick or treat, mischief and play. And I think you're just not having it. I think you just don't have it. Like you're not putting up with anyone's tomfoolery. And um, if someone's inappropriate with you at work, you shut them down right away. Just like I said before, like you, you are very powerful. We have 
Control, yes. You have a lot of self-control when it comes to interpersonal relationships. You may also have some control at work. Maybe you're a supervisor or a boss or something like that. Uh, I think there are people who fear you. They fear talking to you because I feel like you are one of those people that is just such a straight shooter that um, people are worried about getting their feelings hurt. They worry about what you're going to say because this energy is so strong. This is boss energy, okay? This is someone who is friends with who they're friends with because they vibe. They're, they make decisions based upon their own sense of power and the places they want to go within their workplace and their career. It's not personal. I think you shut down people who are inappropriate. I think there are people who have wanted to hang out with you. They've wanted to offer you a cup, you know, an opportunity to get to know them. And you've been like, no, You've just been very cold to it. And you're not the kind of person that ditches people and says like, hey, I'm not going to be there. I'm going to be there and then doesn't show up. I think you're very much like, no, I'm not going to go hang out with you guys tonight. And I think that that they almost feel like it's brazen, like it's so bold. And these people, some of these people are very offended. Let's get into the channel messages. We have good hire. I think the bosses, the higher ups think you're a good hire. I think you're really good at your job. And because of that, it puts you in a position of power. Even if you're not like a supervisor or a boss or a manager, I think the position you hold, maybe you work with somebody higher up or whatnot, um, puts you in a position of power, at least socially or in the element of uh, office politics. You know, sometimes some of the biggest office politicking people are the assistants. They can make things happen. They can let their bosses know exactly what's going on kind of thing. You know, so, okay, we have Libra. There's that Libra energy I was feeling earlier, the air sign energy. Yeah, I feel like you may have an air sign that is very offended. Um, you may be a Libra. Libras can be, when they're in this element right here, when they're owning who they are and they're no longer people-pleasing, they can be like this. They can seem very aloof. They can seem very much like a snob or like they think they're better than other people, but it's really not that at all. It's just Libra is focused on Libra things. Libra is focused on their friends, focused on their job. And I feel like you can be very fair. And that's part of the reason why you're so valued because no matter how you come off, no matter how, what your manner is, I think you're always very honest you're always very reliable and you're very good at your job and you know hires up value that so they like your look i think for some of you your look is very seductive it can be seen as very professional yet there's a little kick to it and this breeds jealousy at work i think you look I think you're gorgeous. I think you're very attractive or handsome. And I think for some people, especially people who have been there for a while and then you came in, I really think they were like, oh my gosh, you know, I didn't know they were going to hire a movie star for that position kind of thing. I think people, I don't think you realize it, but people look at you when you walk in a room. They really do. They take notice of you. Your power is not just um, in what you can do. Like power is something this power I'm feeling it just kind of flows out of you it's in your aura you're just a very powerful person who has chosen to be a certain way so that feelings don't get confused and people don't get wrapped up in your life kind of thing we have boss there's that boss energy you have boss energy if you're not a boss like an official boss your life you rule your life like a boss like you make decisions from this area you make decisions from a higher state of being and um i think people over you are really impressed with you and i think your coworkers talk about you okay and what i'm feeling with the spider card here i'm feeling like they weave a web and they hope that you will take the trap so um just be careful when you get invited to go places uh, and I think you are. I think you know this already. Um, be careful with people who all of a sudden want to spend time with you. It's like someone here is digging for dirt. I got that in another reading as well. I can't remember. I think it's group two. Someone is digging for dirt. And be careful for Libra air sign. Okay. As a, I'm speaking as a Libra. Libra can, Libras can be guilty of stirring the pot. So, you know, I'm just going to put that out there. No judgment on anybody, but just just know that okay we have got something you definitely got that thing like you've got that thing 
that makes you powerful. You have that thing that makes people take notice of what you say. You have that thing that when you put yourself together, you are so smooth and you are so sexy and your power is sexy. And I feel like there are people at work who really do have inappropriate thoughts about you. And this may have been a problem at a past job. Maybe you had a job where you had a boss that got really handsy with you or something like that. And I think that's part of this energy, this, this cold energy. Where's that? At? The cold energy that I was feeling. Um, I think you've had some bad experiences and you learned from them. So you handle your work life accordingly. We have the curve of your hips. There you go. Yeah, there's that sexuality. I think you ooze just sensuality, sexuality. You're very attractive because you know that the impression you give, the power you have, you want to leave an impression with people. And you do. You do. And you could wear a bag and people would still find you hot and sexy. You just can't help it. There's just a lot of powerful energy that oozes from you. Let's get into the tarot. Okay. Okay, the first one we have is the five of hazards. Okay. I'm feeling competition here. There are people, coworkers around you who feel competitive with you. It may be for a position. It may be for clients. Whatever this is, they are running a race with you. You may not even realize it. <laughs> They're running a race that might not even exist, okay? But they feel very competitive with you. Um, and uh, if that resonates, then you know. We have the Queen of Wands, the sexiest card in the deck. There you go. I think you just ooze it. Charisma. I think you have flair. I think you can be bold. I think you can be flashy. And I think you can be sassy. And I really think you should do what you do because you do it so well. And you have people watching you at work. You have people's attention. You have people talking about you. And I know that you may not want the gossip. I understand that. But, you know, you have people talking about you. And a lot of times that's how you know you're on the right track. Haters are validators. You know, if you have people hating on you, know you're on to something. Know you're shining. And they are jealous, hating, and making judgments about you because they can't be you. They can't do what you do, okay? We have hang, the hanged man. I think generally you're really a happy person. I think you laugh and you're a good friend and people trust you if they can get close to you. And I think that you will find if you can um, change your perspective on your coworkers, you will have more fun at work, okay? You don't have to feel bad for not letting them in your private life. You don't have to feel bad because you prefer to hang out with other people. Maybe you have coworkers you hang out with and underlings that you don't or vice versa, and you feel bad about it. Just live your life and be happy, okay? Because you're always going to have people talk about you. You just have that energy, okay? You just do. All right, we have the hermit, okay? You're not afraid to be alone. You're not afraid to have them all screaming for you and you just shut the door and like read a book, hang out, lay down, you relax. You're relaxing. Everybody else is going crazy trying to get to you, trying to get your energy, trying to get your attention. And you're just like, what are you guys so worked up about? I think you handle stress very well. I think you handle competition very well. I don't think you're afraid to compete because I think you win most of the time. I think you have a confidence about you that just oozes from you and your coworkers feel it. You may be very intimidating to other people. And I think as soon as you like walk into the reality of that and accept it, the power increases. Some of you guys have already accepted the fact that people are intimidated by you and it's just a thing and it's okay. You might go out of your way a little bit to kind of make it easier for people to relate to you. It might calm down some of this gossipy energy and some of this, this hater-like energy, this jealousy. And then we have the five of swords. Okay, there are people at work who have fought with you who talk about you. Okay, uh, some people do not... Whatever happened here didn't go well. For others, they think you're a fighter. Like they are afraid to fight with you. They're afraid to have words with you. For some of them, they think your words are very harsh and very hurting. And that's why they don't try to get close to you. And uh, those people who are kind of intimidated and afraid of you, they don't try to go to lunch with you. Um, I feel like they have a respectful distance from you. And those are the people you can trust because I feel like they're being real with how they respond to you. I think there's other people who want to be in this inner circle with you who send you fakery and fake flattery. 
and you know it and you feel it and you don't like it. Do not overlook the people who respect you, okay, who watch what they say around you. Those people, um, they appreciate you for what you are, but they understand how powerful you are and in your presence and they respect you. So be sure to, to look for these people too, okay? Let's get some numbers of alignment for you guys. Okay, we have five. We have five again. Every every group has gotten five, I do believe. So lots of change in the area of career. This could also be change in your uh, work environment. I feel like, um, I really feel as you kind of get more comfortable and you own your power and you stand your ground. And I, I think these people who respect you, I'm feeling a lot of respect with the five of swords, which is unusual. But I feel like they know you're a fighter and I, I feel like they know you'll fight for them if it came to it in the workplace. And so you have their loyalty, you have their respect. I think you're very fair when you deal with your coworkers as far as work goes. And if you have people under you, I think you're always very fair with them and they count on you for that. And because of that, they watch what they say. They don't, they don't gossip about you. They don't participate in the gossip. They keep a distance. This may be people who never go to lunch with anyone. This may be people who like, they go home after work. They don't socialize because they appreciate and respect their job for what they have and they respect you okay so be sure to maybe make an effort if you know who these people are to be more compassionate to them maybe reach out to them and tell them they're doing a good job if you're a boss or something like that if it's a coworker, make sure that they know you you value them okay because i really do feel like these are the people that have your back okay those quiet ones the letters we have for you are L, V, M, B, F, A, P, D, W, T, R, O, D, I, C, Y, S, E, B. Okay, so those are going to be either initials. They could be uh, the initials of where you work or a person or a coworker um, or something else. So take what resonates there. Okay, we have the purple star. We have a lot of charms. Let's see, we have a hand. I don't know if I've ever gotten this charm. Okay, I'm getting like, talk to the hand. Like I, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not down for it. We have a flower, something's blooming for you. We have a couple of horses, we have a Pegasus, we have the notes, we have the wheel. The wheel is turning in your favor. I think you have a lot of good karma coming to you because I feel like you haven't allowed outside influence to kind of keep you from doing the things you want to do when it comes to your work. I, I think you haven't allowed the judgment, the harsh judgment of other people to keep you down or keep you small. In fact, I think you've grown in your power and you've grown in your radiance. And I feel like people really will be drawn to you more. And it's important that you have good boundaries, right? But it's also important that you let people in who you intuitively feel are trustworthy, who you intuitively feel like you connect with. Let's go back to the people that you connect with. I feel like you will have a larger group. I also feel like for you guys, there are personal friends coming to you and some of them may come from work. You may already have personal relationships with people you work with, but you're able to keep this detachment from that at work. Other people at work don't think you do. Okay. Just know that. All right. Uh, they're totally judging that. So, you know, you probably already know that, but I do think the will is turning in your favor because you're very focused on your work and there's something here blooming for you. It's very important that you pay attention to your spirit guides, your intuition as they guide you on this journey to the next level in your pathway. This talk to the hand is working. Do not let office politics or office gossip get to you. Always remember that a lot of gossip at work is people just blowing off steam from stress. Okay, and I feel like you're an easy target, not because you're vulnerable, but because you are powerful. And a lot of people know on a deeper level, you can take it. You, so I, I feel like the people who you click with and bond with, they have a lot of respect for you. I think there are people who respect your position and they can be trusted. Okay, and you might let them in a little bit more into your work circle, okay, because I think they are untapped resources for you of um, connection, of networking. I feel like some of these people have um, 
side offers or clients or can help you get ahead in your career. So don't overlook these very loyal people, okay? Okay, group three, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a most beautiful day and I'll see you beautiful magical creatures next time. Be sure to subscribe. Bye guys.